Damar Dabney is trying to heal, but he says it's going to be a long road to recovery. He says that he doesn't know who the shooters are, but to him, they look like teenagers. I'm very thankful for my life. Damar Dabney is trying to manage the stinging pain in his jaw as best he can after a group of teens or young adults shot up the SUV he was in, leaving fragments of bullets lodged in his cheek and his vehicle riddled with bullet holes. I believe it entered, it entered here and also here, because as you can see. Damar winced as he took off his bandages to talk to us today. I took a shout out, so I'm, I'm thinking the fragment went in like that and kept going, but it said, it said it's, the fragment is, 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 is like enlarged in my, uh, in my jaw area. Speaking is much more difficult now, and Damar is trying to hide the extent of his wounds from his young children. Ah, yes, it's just, it's, it's just very excruciating, but what, what scares me is my kids seeing it. So I try to stay uh, with my, with my uh, bandages on. Jamar's life changed forever on May 6th when he and his fiance Jessica went to visit a close friend that's considered family and her new baby. Damar decided to stay in the car for a bit. Five minutes later, he saw a group of young people. That's, a, that's something that you got to be careful about doing, sitting in your car in a sun neighborhood. Yeah. Sit, sitting in your car in a sun neighborhood is like... That's right. Yeah, you're basically like... um um. You just you just attracting you know attention. <laughs> yeah. You're attracting attention because there's always sons hunting. I tried to tell y'all that before in past years that there's always roving bands of sons hunting, but now it's like way more. It's, was, it's yeah. I was, I was gonna say I was, I was in um I was in Boston in the city and I was driving around my girl and I was showing her that like just look like because the weather was nice. Yesterday, and it's like dudes are just driving around hunting. Like every car, it was like every it was like sun teens in every car, like precisely masked. Dudes headed out the window. Dudes just hunting on every corner, just driving around, looking, just hunting. Like God, believe. Yeah, that, that that's exactly what they're doing. They're hunting, so they're they're patrolling their um hunting grounds, and they see you sitting in the car. That's like and chum they, in the water. Yeah, exactly. And then they bend the corner and they come back around and you're sitting there and they're like, all right, who's going to get them? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's going to get them? I get them. And they pull up and jumps out and he gets you because here's the thing. That kid, if he gets caught for that crime of Putting a gun to your head and pulling you out of your car, he may, and I mean may, do a weekend in jail if his mother wanted to teach him a lesson and not pick him up. <laughs> mom was like, "Nah, y'all keep him." By the way, uh, did you uh, did you catch the name of his fiance, Jessica? Oh yeah, maybe maybe a um a, a bladder man, yeah. Of Seattle, yeah, definitely. But this is this is this is the type of shit. This hunting thing is very serious, man. So try not to sit in cars in sunny neighborhoods. Try, just try not to, man. It's all. And if you uh -huh. sitting in a car and you see a car full of sun teens drive past you, and then they bend the corner, if they go straight, you might be okay. But if they get that next corner, you well, need if they to double back. If they double yeah. back, oh yeah, man, you come need on. to get out of there. You need yeah, to get out of there. <laughs> you need to get I out. I almost of got hunted. Almost, almost got hunted one time. I was at a uh, at a store late night. It was like 11 p.m. I came outside with my groceries and stuff like that, and then I was sitting in my car in the parking lot, and it was um, it was a little dim, and next thing I know, I got a knock on my window, and it's a a, a sun man. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to fucking go. I was like, fuck, I'm about to be on art, like dead. <laughs> and then I rolled down the window. Oh no, I didn't roll down the window. He oh, was like okay. speaking to me. He was speaking me, speaking to me through the uh through the window up. And I was like, I ain't got no money, I ain't got no money. He's like, man, I ain't trying to ask you for no money, man. Then I rolled down the window, I just cracked it down a little bit. I was like, what is it? And he's like, man, I'm trying to get this ride over here, man. I'm trying to go down over here. I was like, man, I can't give you a ride. I put that shit in reverse so fast. I was gone, but it could have been. He just yeah. could have pulled out the gun. gun and, you would have had a decision to make. Do you, 
were you in a parking space? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, well, it could have went you. bad. Oh, I had another. Oh, let me tell you another story. Oh, my God. One, one story real quick. I was leaving my parents' house. God, I was stupid as fuck growing up. I was leaving my parents' house driving. This random sun man was walking down the street uh, not too far from my parents' house, and he, like, flagged me down. I was like, uh, and I, I'm so stupid. I stopped. I stopped. He opened the door and got in my fucking car. I oh, said, man, let me get this. Yeah, he said, let me get this ride over here, man. Oh, I'm trying to go to this place over here. And I was like, I must have been like 20-something. And I was like, oh, all right, man. All right, I'll take you. So I took him. And uh, he took me to the, to the, the bad area of town. And um, he, like, once he was getting ready to get out, he took all the change in my car and walked outside. And he goes, hey, hold on for a second, man. Let me talk to this dude real quick. And he started talking to some <laughs> other sunmen. And I'm sitting here like a dumbass with my window rolled down. He's sitting over here talking. And this other sunman was like, man, you better go, man. You better <laughs> go. <laughs> and, I, got, and I fucking you got just some good advice from a, for, from a random sunman there. <laughs> man, it was absolutely insane. Like, I think he might have been asking for another dude. Like, hey, man, you got a gun on you or something? Because I'm about to fuck this. Kid up. You wouldn't have needed a gun. That, you wouldn't have needed a gun to get your car though. Yeah. He was just gonna get you to ride him around all day. He gonna see how long he could take it. Real shit. Yeah, I guess, man. But that other yeah, guy was yeah, you he had to kidnap for a little bit. He had to kidnap for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was scary, man. So I try to stay uh when my, when my uh, bandages on. Like Jamar's life changed forever on May 6th when he and his fiance Jessica went to visit a close friend that's considered family and her new baby. Damar decided to stay in the car for a bit. Five minutes later, he saw a group of young people approaching with guns drawn and they opened fire. He hit the floor. The, the angle I was laying at, it was more or less like, they, it was three shooters. So they were they were coming from this, this angle and I'm in my car and they started shooting so I just laid down. And as I laid down, it must, the angle must have hit like that and it lost in my jaw. So, it's excruciating. Jessica and Damar say they heard around 30 shots before it grew quiet. She ran outside and saw him jumping out of a window. Terrified. I was freaking out. I was throwing up. <laughs> what does she look like? She looked like what? Telly Tubby. What, what, no, what's them things with the little thing on top of there? Oh, head? my God. Tell 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 That's Telly Tubby. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that uh, Jessica wasn't a very sunny name. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is uh, yikes. That's son, man. Hey, man, listen, man. She's out kicking her coverage, man. <laughs> His brother, man. Yeah, man. He got him. He getting the what Xbox. God damn everything out of this deal. A pound of weed every month, at the first every month. He doing good, man. Nice deal, man. And saw him jumping out of a window. Terrified. I was freaking out. I was throwing up. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. My kids were supposed to be with us. The couple were shocked at the age of the shooter. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad, ain't right, man. He ain't right. They be doing that though, don't they? Um, conservative. They, they be living good off this shit, don't they? Mm -hmm. Some man, man get one of these. He living good, man. He oh, we in. That's love. That's love right there. Yeah. So yeah, you think he losing? That's some man winning. He yeah. his own head. He winning. Car free free shit. I mean, yeah, yeah man. Well. If he's got a sister, you know, odds are what 50, 60, 70 percent that it's going to be just as uh, as unattractive, just as uh, large. So you might as well get a, a white woman that's, uh, you know, nicer. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know what you talking about, man. And the joint, <laughs> and, the, and the joint right here is a come up. When you're in the joint, or oh, in, yeah. even in the streets, even in the streets, yeah. it's a come up. Yeah, it's a come up, man. My joint, yeah. I don't know. I, ain't, I, don't, I ain't never. I ain't never had nothing like that. I'm sorry, man. That's Hell no. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about. I, just, I don't know what you're talking about, man. As that, maybe you know something I don't, Johnny. I, I never. <laughs> never. 
while Rakita Law was talking about on vacations, he was out there, and you see these really skinny sun men with these really, uh, really uh, well endowed sisters, and uh, they're just, you know, and they're, they just seem unhappy. I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is rough, Jack. And the fact that it was so random. I don't know it had nothing to do with me, but the simple fact of there's so much violence going on in the community right now. All we can do to make a change is try to help each other and stop the violence because I could have literally been taken away from my kids over something I had nothing to do with. The two parents have decided to shield their kids from the truth, telling them that he took a spill rather than to traumatize them. Because I don't want them to see like, oh, God, leave. Dad, what happened? And I hate lying to my kids, but I had to lie. And you don't want to tell them about this right now. So it's like, yeah, I, Daddy fell hard. Jessica has started a GoFundMe. <laughs> Look at a GoFundMe, two hundred five dollars, man. <laughs> you God. Me. My God. That's what you get though when it ain't no them teens. If one of them teens was white, man, you could you could you might have could have played something. But we know them teens were sun teens, man. You getting two hundred five dollars, but he's lucky you got that. that was, <laughs> they, they gave that. They gave that begrudgingly, man. Yeah, enough to enough to patch up holes inside his car. Look, only five people donated, man. That was they gave that begrudgingly. It was like, man, here, two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. Wow. Yeah, for Daddy fell hard. Jessica has started a GoFundMe online fundraiser for medical expenses and to get a new vehicle as the family is now without transportation. DeMar has also lost his income temporarily as he was working two part-time jobs as a security officer and with Instacart. So it's just excruciating pain, but it's trying to bear through it for the kids, you know? But I, I know I just need to be able to, I need to get better so I can be able to work. He also hopes surgery can eventually restore what the shooters have taken from him and his kids. Two kids, man. I had a nice mob promise. Now it's just I'm going to have to. Oh, my God. Is that a filter? What is that? Hey, that's a filter. <laughs> Yo. That's just crazy. That's my crazy. Home. What the? My humble cut. Pussy glad. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was she a glider or she um she mixed? Yeah, it's there's something in there, man. It's so uh, she mixed, man. She mixed. She ain't no yeah, she ain't no yeah. She she yeah. she she yeah. Saps some deception. Jesus Christ. Now it's just I'm gonna have to go through um therapy to be able because uh the ner- the nerve damage of of the situation. Uh, as you can see, this is majorly swollen so when I to smile like it's hard to smile I have to smile like and I barely can do that I can't laugh so my kids make me laugh I gotta <laughs> so it's just super painful to even like not even just like physical wise emotionally wise because I can't even be the same dad I'm used to being yeah they both have filters on information in our story at fox13seattle.com meantime Jessica says that she has a surgery consult scheduled for DeMar and we also reached out to Lakewood police to see if they had any comment on the case and are waiting to hear back reporting from Lakewood Jennifer Dowling Fox 13 News wow Seattle man you can't even sit in your car fucking Seattle man (laughs) 